Oh, Tina Fors. There's Tina Fors, sea gooseberries in the water. If you look in, and jellyfish. Gooseberry shape, like there. Do you see them there? Are they on the on the sea floor? No, no, just under the surface, about about ten centimeters down. Right. Oh, yes. See, just there, Emma. Oh, look. There. See them? Yeah. And there's col colonies as well. Do you are see them? Oh, look, there's jelly? a big. Are they jellyfish? No, totally different family. I see that big sea jelly. gooseberry there? There's it's one. Strange. Right, they're like little jet engines, and when, and when the sunlight catches them, you get uh, beautiful iridescence. See the, the it's actually... Now that's colonies, that's salps. They're colonies of sea, colonial sea scorch, but look, see there's different shapes. These are larger ones just here at your bow. You uh -huh. see, just down there? Yeah, I saw some big ones, yeah. So they're different species. The gooseberry ones are sea gooseberries. They're same family Tina Fors. Oh wow! I would have those were baby jellyfish. No, no. Look, see that nice jellyfish down there? Yeah. As well, against the barnacles. Yeah. Yeah, Carl, we're going to have Uh, they're salps, pelagic, colonial sea gooseberries, right? So there's the, the see if you hold them in your hand, they're just a mass of jelly. But if you put them under water, they've got a beautiful shape. I can see. I was watching so the, the stringy bits are part of the gooseberries. Uh, no, they're loads of little ones right. joined together. So if you see the dark spots as you go along, it's like a necklace. That's their their gut for each individual one. And the lion's mane jellyfish just to the left as well. Uh huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah.